Hey guys, just got a new update in the uh, Model X. This is uh, version 2019.12.11, or dat one one. So here's the new stuff. Um, I don't think there's anything new about Navigate on autopilot. Okay. So supercharger improvements. Your car is now able to charge up to 150 kilowatt peak rates at Tesla supercharger stations. So that's cool. Now the peak rate improves. Uh, software updates. You can now view details about your vehicle software by tapping controls software. In addition to your current software version, you can see when there is a new software update package available to be downloaded. A download progress bar displayed once your car is connected to Wi-Fi after the download is complete. You'll be able to schedule when to install the software update or install it immediately. Tesla Tari, um, I guess more games or something has been enhanced for full screen gameplay including addition to improved touch screen controls All right. so there's that sentry mode yeah okay minimal threat major threat save three more dash cam oh on route battery battery warm up so that's going on now Whenever you navigate to a supercharger station, your vehicle will intelligently heat the battery to ensure you arrive at the optimal temperature to charge, reducing average charge times by 25%. Uh, web browser. Your web browser has been updated to improve performance and security. Auto steer stoplight warnings, blah, blah, blah. Previous stuff. Dog mode. Okay. I should try the browser. And I think I'm going to go to a supercharger and see how that works. So first, here is the software tab right here so you hit that and then it shows you the version that you have and also links I guess to the release notes it doesn't show there's anything pending because I don't have anything pending right now so let's go to a supercharger um, that's uh, nearby here and we'll see what the charging and battery prep does All right, here we are. This is a supercharger area next to a gas station, Meyer gas station, and they've also just put in new charge point fast chargers which I need to go check out. But anyway, let's go see what happens to charging. Ooh. All right, five kilowatts. Let's see what happens here. <clears throat> hmm. Stuck at 70. That's weird. And uh, this is saying that it actually has 150 kilowatt max available. Idle fees up to one dollar a minute. Wow, that's really, really high. Hmm, but for some reason, it's definitely not going very fast. So I'm now plugged into the 1B charger. Just to see if that makes any difference. I don't think it will, but I have a couple of theories right now. Uh, the first is, yeah, I seem to be topping out at 70 or high 60s kilowatts, um, and I'm only at 41% of the battery, so I should be able to charge at like uh, almost twice that. Um, so a couple of possibilities. One is that my battery is still cold. It's 44 degrees and the car has been sitting for about an hour and a half and I was just driving for about five minutes. So I think I might drive around, excuse me, try to warm it up a little bit. That's one possibility. Or there's something wrong with these chargers and they're not able to output. Um, or there's something wrong with my car and supercharging. But I don't think so because... Um, when was it? Saturday? Yeah, Saturday morning I came here and charged uh, the Model S, which was a 70D, which charges slower, especially since it's four year, almost four years old. Um, but that wouldn't go above 
70 kilowatts either. So I don't know what's going on with this station. And I, I hadn't, well, I had driven probably for 10 minutes with that one. So I'm gonna go do some charging and um, deceleration with this, see if that changes anything. Oh, the other thing I was gonna say, so, so it seems like, because the software says it's now, it now pre, pre-warms your battery um, to do this, but I'm wondering if that's only when you're, not when you're just navigating to a supercharger, but when, when you're actually on a trip and it tells you that you need to go to that supercharger. Um, so let me go back to the release notes and see what exactly it says. Yeah, on route battery warm up. Whenever you navigate to a supercharger station, your vehicle will intentionally heat the battery, intelligently heat the battery. Usually average. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, so it says whenever you navigate to a supercharger. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Let's try this again. So I did some did some ups and downs here. Oop. Yeah, there you can see. So now let's see. Uh, that should have warmed the battery up at least a little bit. So now let's see what it does. <clears throat> Definitely goes up to 70 really fast. Okay, to 90. Well, we got it up to 90, which is not that much for being at uh, 43%. <clears throat> and then it's going to go down from there. Okay. This is something that uh, I kind of wonder about um, battery aging. Like, maybe even uh, just as important as the amount of range that it retains, which Tesla batteries seem to do pretty well, but also as important is like, what's the degradation in um, supercharging speed? So this thing hasn't really been supercharged that much, um, and I've only had it for a year, so uh, it should have lots of fast charging life left on it. Um, okay, we're back up to 85. I mean, hanging around 90 isn't too bad. Um, 90 kilowatts. Would like to see it a little bit um, faster than that. So I'm not sure. I mean, maybe it will only go super fast, like 125. Um, I mean, 150, like at the lower ends, maybe like 20% state of charge or something like that. I'm not really sure. But so definitely warming up the battery had some uh, effect there, which would make charging faster, uh, which is pretty cool. Also, while I'm sitting here, I wanted to test the uh, browser. So let's see how this does. Oops, that's way too bright. There we go. All right, so let's try Tesla's site. Well, it at least displays it okay. Hmm. Can't get that to do anything. A little light here. There we go. That's not really working. Uh, Alright, let's try... Model 3. Oh, I guess I hit Model X. Alright, let's try Model Y. Well, that's pretty good, I guess. Yeah. It's not displaying. So it's not able to do that. But, I mean, at least that's useful. Let's see if I can type in my referral code. Um, slash? Do we have a slash? Um, 
maybe it's forward slash. I always forget which slash to use. Hmm, there we go. Hey, look, you can get 5,000 free supercharging miles if you use my referral code for Model S XR3. Um, what? Seven referrals? That doesn't make sense. Is that past? Is that past ones? I didn't think I had any. Hmm. Hold on, I need to check my app. Well, that's kind of strange. Here it says I have seven referrals, but when I go into the app, um, it says I have zero. So I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, so. Uh, Here's some update. We're up to 90, oh, was it was at 99. Now it's 98 kilowatts. Um, so I think it's just a factor of the battery warming up even more. So almost 100 kilowatts, that's really good for being at 56%. So I'm actually going to stop it now because I don't need to charge. Um, and I like to not supercharge as much as possible because it isn't the best for the battery. I'd also like to know what... Um, what they did in terms of battery management to allow the faster charging and um, what the risk is to the battery of any extra damage. I just wanted to go check out these chargers here. These are new charge point chargers. Um, wow, well, look at these. We got so we got two connectors. Looks like these are oh, that looks like something Buren has used. Is that? SCCS or something like that. They don't appear to be labeled. It's kind of flimsy in there. And then, whoa, this one is massive. So that's must be some sort of super fast. It's even got a fancy latch on it and stuff. Uh, let me get my... Oh, you know what? I don't have my cards. They're in the other car. Uh... 62.5 kilowatts. Tap your phone or charge point card below. Um, so it's a touch screen. Okay. Price. Oh, free. Huh, that's cool. So maybe Meyer. Hello. Close, close, close. Maybe you don't need a don't need a card to, to actually use it. I don't know. Pretty slick looking uh, design though. I like the way they look. Well protected from uh, people who don't back up very well. Um, although I guess with uh, so Teslas you always back in unless they're the charger is on the side. But with these, most other cars, the charge thingy is in the front of the car, so you'd be pulling in forward. Um, but anyway, all right, so to review, mm. basically we have a couple of extra features, so now the Model X will, um, warm the battery, uh, when I'm getting close to a supercharger, uh, on a trip. I think I just didn't give it enough time in this trip to, uh, warm up or something, I don't know. It's also capable of 150 kilowatts, and apparently this uh, supercharging station, which is in Walker, Michigan, is capable of 150. Um, and what else, there was something else. You guys in the video probably know. Navigate on autopilot, we already had that. Oh, the software, the software tab, yeah. And then there's some more games, or maybe not more games, but they're more, um, they're optimized for full screen view. I don't really use the games though. I'm not good at them. Sentry mode already have, dash cam already have. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so cool. That's pretty cool. Still no, um, I don't think. So sentry mode still doesn't have the option to be always on. No, it doesn't. So. Still like that, and I also still don't have advanced summon. 
yeah, just summon beta. So hopefully that will come soon.